Kuka. This is a part of a project called Monument Park. It's an artist-led collaborative project that was um, uh, for Newquay down at the Docklands. It's a 2,000 square metre plot of land alongside the wharf there and the idea was to create a kind of concrete rug, if you like. And so I took the original hodl grid of Melbourne and used that as the pattern for the rug and laid that across the site. And to create the topography, I took a number of public sculptures around Melbourne, like Burke and Wills and Matthew Flinders and Vault, and sort of put them under the rug. And we couldn't work out how to build them because originally we were going to concrete cast them and they were too heavy for the wharf. So we had to invent a process, something that was solid but light enough, and we found GRC. They approached us about this project in Docklands and they wanted to know if it was possible to actually make them out of GRC. The way I was doing it, all by hand, um, it was going to take us about maybe two, two and a half years to complete. So. It was sort of out of the question and once we found out what the time frame to produce 55 pieces for the project and we've got a period of six, seven months to manufacture it in. GRC Environments first came to us with a requirement uh, for milling of sculptures in the space of architecture. Their issue was that they had a very limited time frame and the project would have taken several years to execute by their normal manual methods. Robots in architecture is clearly a, a growing field and a growing segment. So. Universities like RMIT University, University of Tasmania, University of Technology in Sydney, Monash University are all putting in world-class facilities using robotics, typically with positioners, to build sculptures, subjects and develop their, their products uh, in an environment where artists haven't had that flexibility in the past. The potential to reuse some of the learnings that we had from a project that we'd just finished at the University of Tasmania. A KUKA robot doing both milling and cutting. We're able to take some of the design from that project into GRC to again help us execute within the short time frame. By seeing their robot and um, knowing what they were doing with their robot really made us really enthusiastic. And within a period of two months or three months, we we're actually programming uh, the project ourselves, all in-house. I had no experience within robotics at all. It's pretty well just pressure on the spot really and getting the cell set up and as the cell was getting set up the job started. I had to program as well as sort of fine tune the cell and a couple of months later we were up and running. We looked at the whole process from running the robot and how to make it easier uh, and more efficient for Luke to actually be able to both test his programs and have the confidence that he could run them without standing around the robot. It was really good to see a guy who, who had never used a robot to actually you know, grab the bull by both horns, as they say, and really delve into both parts that, that he needed to do and parts that he was interested in, in working with. When everything started working and working well, it became, like you look at the work that the robot does and you just, it's unreal. We're cutting all these individual pieces and then when they all get put on top of each other and it just lines up spot on, that's where it's satisfying, you know? Everything just fits, perfect. For me the sculptures are an amazing thing to look at. These are going to be here for a for long time so my children and their children will be able to come down here and, and see these sculptures and know that their father or grandfather had something to do with it.